major piece of equipment has arrived at the site of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore. As correspondent Natalie Brand reports, officials warn that this process to remove the mess will take time. The largest crane on the eastern seaboard arrived Friday at the site of the Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore to begin the monumental task of lifting debris from the water. Pictures don't do it justice. So you're looking at a vessel that weighs nearly 95,000 tons. General Scott Spellman, in charge of the team working to clear a 700-foot span of the channel, says the powerful crane can only lift about 1,000 tons, so the wreckage will have to be cut up first. The piece that you see above the water here on the front of the vessel weighs anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 tons, so it's at least going to get cut safely into four pieces. Officials say there's just 12 to 18 inches of clearance between the ships and the bottom of the channel, meaning all the debris must be removed before the port can fully reopen. We need to clear the channel and open vessel traffic to the port because the health of the Maryland economy and the national economy depends on it. Maryland Governor Wes Moore said Thursday the missing workers presumed dead remain the first priority. It is our obligation to bring a sense of closure to these families. Le damos gracias a Dios. Moises Diaz was scheduled to fill potholes on the bridge the night of the collapse, but his shift changed. He says his friend Julio Cervantes survived the collapse by climbing out of his truck as it was sinking. As the NTSB investigation continues, the Coast Guard says 14 containers with hazardous materials on board the cargo ship were damaged, but the soap and perfume inside do not pose a threat to the public. Natalie Brand, CBS News.